upside down <laughs> okay that's gonna It'll be a stop. blooper <laughs> oh my God. it wouldn't even stop stop recording hey guys i am on my way to my girl bobby dylan's house i'm so excited to literally pop up on her and healthy rain for kitchen this poor angel has been so busy up all night um, editing her content and so I just thought I'd pay her a visit and you know put some healthy sexy food in her belly let's see what she fucking has in her fucking shit hi Mandy ready to get healthy hi Mandy mm -hmm. <laughs> all right girl let's see what's in your kitchen lot to choose from I you do think, i think honestly good stuff. okay i'm excited come on baby girl I mandy know. show me where the kitchen I is know. mandy come on, kitchen. <laughs> i don't think i have too much food but i do you know comparatively it's like the dudes in porn <laughs> i have like one healthy yogurt some drinkable yogurts this is my cheat veggie trees they stay better longer i feel like they're just getting vegetables love so i can be working all crazy Protein shakes, my absolute favorite. Some hummus. You know, lactose-free milk. So my belly doesn't like it. Okay. All the toppings. Oh, you have a lot stuff. to work with, girl. Yeah. What about in your freezer? A lot. Oh, what? Yeah, it's kind of cheat week for me, so I have more than usual in here. I okay, have, like, I'm excited. Some meals, some meat, some ice pops. Not really too much. I have, this is an ingredient. Sliced uh -huh. berries, cool. butter, edamame, little things. What about some spices? Lots of um, spices. Do you have any? Okay. Yeah. Oh. So we got paprika. I'm challenging myself. It's been my new spice in my life. Okay. Um, the classic Italian seasoning. That's Love. What I'm raised on. Yes. And then... The hugest spice in my life is the garlic. Salt. I love yes. garlic. It's so good. Okay. And then I have all my little other secret ingredients and tricks over here. And my thing is broken right now. So it's a little ratchet, but it's real. Okay? I love ratchet it's and real. I love real. It's real. And I have all my little cheap foods kind of over here hidden. My rice, my oh, noodles, my yum. pastas, my pastas. Um, then I have all my healthy oils, peanut oil, olive oil, coconut oil. You're a true I, Italiano queen. Yeah, it's it was raised real deep. And then I have, <laughs> you know, my regular sugar, brown sugar, xylitol, sweetener, like low carb, everything. We're gonna fuck with it. Yeah. We're gonna fuck with it. Yeah, there's lots of stuff to play with. I'm excited. Okay, good. Let's do it. Hey. <laughs> so I chose some stuff out of Bobby's kitchen or her fridge. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work with some breast, <laughs> um, some spinach, some leftover hummus here, some artichoke hummus, a little bit of grated Parmesan. I'm going to pound out those breasts, marinate it in Italian dressing, and then I'm gonna how much it and um that's all we know for now still frozen a little bit yeah it's a struggle of working all the time <laughs> eating this yo this is gonna be a really big like roulade here yeah this breast is fucking fat dude i've never seen that trick the plastic wrap oh yeah Usually, this is yeah. like saves everything yeah girl and then after this, I'm just going to put this shit in fucking um, warm water, to, uh, temp water. Well, I'm going to let it marinate in, in the oh, yeah, Italian. Oh, yeah, that Yeah. Yeah. Room temp. Oh, yeah, this shit's still frozen. Yeah, I took it out last, like, evening. Now I feel bad for all the times that my mom told me to take out the chicken and I didn't. Because I realized how <laughs> hard it is. Yeah. Like, it fucks up your whole day. Okay, so I'm not going to do the dressing anymore. I have the cutlet here. We're probably going to have to cut it because I pounded it and it came out all retarded, but that's okay. We can actually make two really good sized uh, roulades here. So I have this artichoke pepper hummus. I'm going to spread, whoop, spread this on the base here for Bobby. She loves flavor. She grew up um, cooking Italian food and she is Italian. Right, Bobby? 
barely like, <laughs> 23 and me but I, dude 23 and me is catfishing honestly yeah, lately i got mine done too girl and it's a fucking disappointment i'm having yeah. a really hard time with it you know we're gonna have to learn how to cook new food to yeah. accept our new roots our new culture. culture yeah we're not ready to talk about what exactly we are but mm -hmm. just know that she's italian and i'm latino okay yeah. That's all you guys need to know. <laughs> it's in there. It's, it's in, there. in there somewhere. Okay, so there is the knife. I mean, the knife. What are we talking about? The fucking hummus? A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of Italian se Oh, shit. Italian seasoning, which is the fucking mecca of all Italian yeah. food. That garlic onions. And then some spinach. Super, super easy. Yeah, I was like, it's a little withered and sad. It's a little withered, but that's okay. It's holding on. It's okay. <laughs> we'll get rid of it. We'll get rid yeah. of the good ones. We'll use them, and then we'll throw away yeah, what yeah. we can't use. <laughs> that way, nothing is wasted. Once you go so long without carbs, you're not, like, addicted to them. You can, you know. Totally true. Same with sugar. Same with sugar. Like, I can have a big old pint of, you know, Ben and & Jerry's, and I'm still like, you know what? Let me just have a little bit. So she's Italian. I felt yes. like it was a cop out, and it's too easy just to grab tomato sauce out of your cupboard. Yeah. So to well, go it's shitty tomato sauce too. It's terrible. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And technically, this is shitty corn, but yeah. I think it's cool to use with the roulades. Yeah. I so can we please talk about that? Bobby is a. You're not even a meatball. You're a guidette. Yeah, so I was a guidette on the actual Jersey Shore show. Like, that's where I went to high school, and they started filming the show. Yeah, see, this is... Cr yeah, oh, you got it? No. It's so funny, though. Because even I, I get it wrong oh, sometimes. Shit. I haven't used one of these in... Oh, my God, I forget about the magnet. You're right. Yeah. It's so amazing, though. So I have, like, carpal tunnel. I do porn. I do enough with my hands. I'm not trying to open hands. I definitely my love. My wrists need a break. I think you're brilliant. Go on, Guida. And um, yeah, so I didn't even got it. They called it a Guida makeover. They put a lot of bronzer on me because I'm literally like albino in the land of Jersey Shore, and basically a unicorn because no one is as pale as I am. <laughs> I mean, there's a there's a bunch of Irish. It's an Irish Italian neighborhood, but even all the Irish fake tan. Honestly. So it's like you just. I was telling her that I think she would have been a way better character than Dina. <laughs> like, I think she's way more interesting and has a lot more personality. Yeah. And way more attractive than, than Dina. No it offense. It was definitely interesting growing up there. Like, I mean, I don't school. like to talk shit about women, yeah. but I'm just saying it's, she's... Yeah, she was a lot. She was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> have you eaten today? Um, no. I just snacked. That's right. You just woke up. Yeah. She's just fucking busy, guys. I was up till six in the morning editing videos and make sure you guys them check uploaded. them out. Yeah, getting them uploaded. Okay. So, so yeah, I was six a.m. uploading them, putting them on all the sites, and I still have so much more to edit. So this will be good to get eat something healthy. I get to take a break and not cook for once. Yeah. Nice. That's the only thing. I always like to cook at home so it's healthy, it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. You get to have. You're in control. In yeah, exactly. Because I'm kind of sometimes a picky eater. Really? You know, I like what I like. I feel like you like a lot of stuff. You're yeah, not as do. picky. Yeah. Well, I can be. Like, some spices I don't like. Paprika's new to me. I'm still accepting it. What? So, Bobby was telling me that you. She just recently did a burping yes. video. I burp fetish. Very popular. Do you burp really fucking loud? Yeah. Can you... Yeah, so that was just a little warm. Just a little... You're just getting warmed up. Yeah. You're, she's just cool. revving the engine right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I want you, if you feel it, I want you to burp fucking loud as fuck. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, just yeah. let it happen, okay? Yeah. I feel like people in porn have the most control over their body. Honestly. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would say one of the craziest skills from porn is holding in your farts. Dude, for real. Amongst While you're getting fucked. In the ass or, or no, vaginally? No, 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 just vaginally. I don't do any of them, but holding in, yeah. Okay. Or like going to expos and conventions and you're hanging around fans all day and it's just like, as, soon as, as soon as we all go into elevator, we're just like, oh my God. Let it out. <laughs> Literally. Okay, we're putting the roulades down now. It's a standing hot. back, yeah, exactly. Hot oil, hot oil. Hot oil, always point away from you. Love that sound. Mm, nice to you. And boom. We're gonna make sure. Look at how 
tiny she is. <laughs> like, what the fuck? She's going to devour this, you guys. Yeah, she mentioned that she was a server, a waitress, yes, and waitress. she said that I always made friends in the back of the house. Because the back of the house and the front of the house hate each other. So yeah. the front of the house are your hosts, your bartenders, your waitresses, your servers, and your your food runners are a mix of front of house, back of house. Mm -hmm. They're like, they're middlemen. Yeah. And then you got your back of house, which are your dishwashers, your chefs, your uh, sous chefs. Uh, you know, the person yelling out orders. Who is that person? They're always the, the expo. The expo, 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 fucking expo. I and mean. it's legitimately like the front of the house versus the back of the house, like Bloods versus Chris. Like, it is a war. <laughs> And yeah. the front of the house blames the back. Like, oh, the, the back of the house is just slow tonight. The chefs, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And the back of the house is like, bruh. When the dishwashers quit, everything stops. Yep. Oh, they're like, like the main vein. People like, do not give them respect. They don't, dude. They don't. That's fucked up. That's what I'm saying. The dishwashers, again, are my real ones. Same yep. with chefs. They're back there with the heat. I'm like, do you need water? Do you need something to drink? Like, I would have loved to work with yeah. her. Yeah. Gem, you guys. If you guys ever see her, all my chef friends that watch this, please, if you ever see her in your restaurant, please fucking right. take care of her. I love you guys. She understands. Okay, you guys, these roulades are coming out so good. The hummus kept it so moist. So here we have the creamed corn. I spruced it up with oregano and some garlic, you guys. Literally just going to plate this here. I got some of the broccoli from her little veggie um, platter that she had, and then I steamed it with the roulades, and then I just added a little bit of um, some sunflower seeds that I found in her cupboard. They're salted a little bit, so I didn't need to add salt. I don't cook with too much salt. I feel yeah. like it bloats you. Yeah. Oh, and there's so much just naturally in everything. Yeah, definitely. So this is really simple, really fucking simple, just some cut up broccoli. Mm -hmm this here and again there's just spinach a little bit of artichoke hummus um, and some Italian seasoning and garlic powder and what would it be without a little bit of fucking Parmigiano on top and that's motherfucking it y'all I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. I just want to go right for the meat, though. Yeah, of course. It's like meat and potatoes, girl, though. Mmm. So cream of corn on it. What mm. do you think, girl? It's really good. Do you like? I didn't mm. really put, like, any salt. I salted the chicken a little bit, but that's mm. it. It's really good. It's creamy. Like, it's not, it's not overly creamy like some are. It's when the they're corn. stuffed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's so moist still, which is always important with chicken. Especially breast. Yeah. <laughs> and that shit was frozen too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and know, thinned you out. You with a lot. Yeah, yeah. you with a lot. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. oh, and the Parmesan. I am so glad that you love everything, girl. It's you so honestly good. gave me a really good uh, variety of things to work with. So oh, thank you. Thank I'm you. In my kitchen. Yes, I love it. It was ratchet and raw. It was real, <laughs> and it was really, really good. Oh my gosh, like it's it's not too overly creamy with the hummus. Like when you put some uh -huh. cheese in, it's like oh, it's dripping out in some. Uh huh. But this just so good and it fits to the you know meat ratio to the stuffing look at her so okay so thank you so much mm -hmm. bobby thank, thank you. you so much for having me i appreciate you I had so much fun Nanny with you oh my gosh look at her her tail's going she's been a good girl actually she I hasn't she bothered has. us i know she's been good i'll give her a little kiss. <laughs>